Well, after Dell's introduction, I don't think any of you have to Google me. <laughs> I think you know everything, and th thanks for that bucket. I may very well need it myself soon. <laughs> well, firstly, I want to thank David Arnold for a remarkable version. <laughs> Fabulous. And the boys with you. Thank you. It, if you want to vote for David, the phone lines close in 20 minutes. Um, but thank you, David. Now, you may, because of tonight, all these fantastic things, the VTR, and everything, that my life has been one great big success story. Well, it, that isn't quite right. Um, my first musical was called Maybe That's Your Problem. And it was the story of a young man who suffered from premature ejaculation. <laughs> Ironically, the show didn't last long either. There were no ballads in that musical. <laughs> there just wasn't time. Uh, Alan J. Lerner... <laughs> Alan J. Lerner said I should have called it Shortcomings. <laughs> but before I uh, became a professional comedian... Um, <laughs> professional songwriter, I was a comedian and a publisher, which is, you could say, is one and the same thing. Um, <laughs> Oh, I, uh, I, I wrote my first song while waiting for a laugh in Darlington. And, but actually, my whole life changed for me. Um, when I was working in Denmark Street in Timpan Alley in the early days, and it's very appropriate to mention tonight that the first song I plugged as a song plugger was Don't Laugh At Me by the great and sadly late Norman Wisdom. It's good to remember him tonight. I, uh, I met a great uh, singer in those days and an even greater man by the name of Matt Monroe. And he kind of changed my life. As Del said, I, he came up with an Austrian tune and he asked me if I'd like to put some words to it. I did. I called it Walk Away, which was a title I got from one of my reviews as a comedian. <laughs> and <laughs> it was... It was a big song for me, and at the same time, I met this brilliant Yorkshireman, John Barry, who said, do you fancy having a go at uh, Thunderball? And I said, yes, and then he said, do you fancy having a go at Born Free? And I can tell you, I would not be standing on this stage here tonight if it wasn't for the remarkable John Barry. Um, I'm... Uh, I'm fortunate enough to... I've, I've worked with so many brilliant composers. I cannot mention them all, but I always like to mention two. Uh, John Barry, of course, and the other is Andrew Lloyd Webber, who's played such a major part in my career. <laughs> I, I've, I've said this line before, but it always gets a laugh, so I'm going to say it again. I, I want to thank Andrew uh, not only for his music, but for my house and carpets as well. <laughs> um, I want to thank tonight... Uh, my sons, Grant and Clive, who, of course, you may, you may have seen them work in the room here this evening. They have made sure I've kept up to date. Uh, while I'm happy to carry on with my Irving Berlin and Cole Porter stuff, they make sure I have a good dose of Lily Allen, Eminem, and Paolo Natini. Um, so I want to thank them for and Robbie Williams, yes. <laughs> so thanks for that. Uh, they are fantastic sons. On the other hand, if it wasn't for them, I'd probably have homes all over the world. <laughs> uh, my wife, Shirley. <laughs> Shirley, Ma Marvin Hamlish once called my wife my secret weapon, and that is right. Uh, people often say to me, have you ever written a song especially for Shirley? And the answer is yes, all of them. Um, she is... I always feel that no matter what success I have, she could have done better. And uh, I really feel that. And um, it's sort of come home to me tonight as I see her sitting next to Tim Rice. But that's... that's <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to thank BMI, who... They are remarkable people. They're, although it's a huge organization, they are, have always been like family to me. Uh, they are really a fantastic, warm, 
to call them a collection society doesn't do them justice. It's a bit like calling Michelangelo a, a decorator. You know, they, they are very special people. Um, apart from my family, songs have always been my life. Um, I can understand why internet providers cannot uh, put a value on a song. That's because a great song is priceless. From the heart they come and to the heart they go. Thank you very much for an iconic evening. Thank you all very much.